31 Storm Tracker Chief Meteorologist Jeff Castle with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, keeping an eye on the possibility for seeing a few stronger thunderstorms coming in as we close out the work week. There is going to be a risk for some severe weather with our next weather maker, which will be arriving Friday and on into Saturday. So we are going to pick up another round of some wet weather. It looks like as we close out the week, heavy rain, possible lightning. Those may end up being the biggest threats. The severe weather potential for now. Looks like it is going to stay low, but we'll keep an eye on it for you. This is the latest severe weather outlook for Friday. We're at a level one risk on our scale of one to five. Uh, the higher threat it looks like it will lie off to our south and southwest for the most part. This is going to be one of those setups where the question is, does the uh, most unstable air make its way into the Tennessee Valley to give us a higher chance of seeing severe weather or uh, does early day rainfall kind of prevent that from happening? And that's something we'll continue to watch in the data as it comes on in. We will get new information tonight, both new data as well as a new severe weather outlook and meteorologist Grace and Ella will have that for you first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, regardless of how it shakes out in terms of strong thunderstorm activity, the weekend continues to trend better. Rain early into the weekend on Saturday, 81 for the high, and Sunday is looking dry and warmer with temperatures running in the mid 80s, and we may get a little bit hotter than that for early next week. Stick around for that coming up in your 10 day forecast in just a second. Right now, Way 31 triple Doppler, a clean sweep out there. We got mostly clear skies overnight tonight. Only thing we'll be monitoring for tomorrow morning is there could be some patches of low cloudiness and some fog that develop. Uh, check in with Grace tomorrow morning. She'll let you know if that's an issue on your morning commute and if there are any reductions in the visibility that you need to know about. Otherwise, through the day tomorrow, expecting a good bit of sunshine through the morning hours and then we'll pick up a few afternoon clouds. But overall, your Thursday is going to uh, probably be the best day that we've seen this week. We head into Friday morning. Here we go. Swath of rain comes in later Thursday night into early Friday. So a wet drive into work for some of you as you head out the door Friday morning. Noontime, we're still tracking some scattered showers and through the afternoon hours, expecting to see some additional showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder out there, especially late afternoon into the early evening hours. Again, remains to be seen if we're going to have any sort of significant severe weather threat right now. I'm leaning towards no, but again, we'll keep a close watch on it for you and let you know if that changes overnight tonight into tomorrow morning. We cool off pretty good upper 50s to around 60 tomorrow, though. Quick warm up on the way into the 70s by 10, approaching 80 at the noon hour, and we'll spend all of tomorrow afternoon lower and mid 80s for most of the area. Breeze will be light out of the northwest. These are our expected highs. Huntsville, Decatur, 85, same for Muscle Shoals and Scottsboro, 83 in Fort Payne, 82 in Gunnersville, and around 83 tomorrow afternoon up there in Lincoln County in Fayetteville, Tennessee. Here's a look at your Way 31 Storm Tracker 10 day forecast. Again, we're tracking wet weather on Friday, 76 for the high. Temperatures will be down due to the clouds and the wet weather. They're back up as we start drying over the weekend. Again, Saturday still could see a few showers, but not a washout. Sunday's looking dry at 86, and look at that. Finally have some 90 degree temperatures on your 10 day for the first time this year. We've got a shot at it and that would actually be right at average for this time of year to see that first 90 degree day heading into early next week. More rain chances back in here again towards midweek. An opportunity 